More crazy Canadian news for you here. Accusations fly human rights hearing into transgender woman's Brazilian wax complaint. Transgender woman complains that a home-based salon discriminated against her by denying her a Brazilian wax. At one point, the complainant compared the business owner to a neo-Nazi. So, everybody's being really nice here to this person. They're being really nice here, and this person seemingly is trying to game the system. And why are we being so nice? Because this person hasn't had a surgery. And that's one of the big issues here. They still have a penis. They haven't got gender reassignment surgery. This is, in effect, a man identifying as a woman. So now the problem with the person doing the Brazilian wax is they don't want to do it on a guy's dick. They don't want to... Uh, they don't want to do it. They don't. She says that she's not trained to do it. Doesn't want to do it and also not trained to do it. It's a different situation. Apparently, our skin is much thinner in that area. Now, from what I've read and what I've seen, trans people agree with me in the sense that a guy who identifies a woman who hasn't gone through any surgeries or hormonal treatments, they don't want them calling themselves trans because it kind of dilutes their message of accepting people who've gone through these surgeries. Whereas, in effect, this is just a guy who wants to be a woman. I don't know what he wants, but that's the reality is that they haven't gone through the surgery or anything. So the woman wasn't comfortable, didn't do the training, and she put up an ad. This was her first ad to start her home business. First ad you put up, home waxing, and then you get this person and they're suing you. The complaint heard Wednesday is one of more than a dozen filed by Yaniv, who described herself as a digital marketing expert and LGBTQ activist. Get all the letters in there. We need the Q's and the pluses. Division sign. All alleged she was the subject of discrimination by salons. A few complaints have been settled without hearing or withdrawn. So it seems to me that Jessica Yanov here is her name. Calls around these places, and if they don't want to wax the old ding-dong, then we sue them, we take them to the Human Rights Tribunal, hope they withdraw everything and settle out of court. You know, it's a hustle. Some people do Uber, some people deliver pizza. Some are calling places to get waxes, then taking them to the Human Rights Council. It's <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game. So where does this leave us exactly? Do we force people to wax other people's junk against their will? Do we force people to do business with other people? We don't want to. It sounds a little fascist to me. And this is a slippery slope we've gone down with all these laws about not offending people and uh, gender labeling or misgendering a person. When you take people's gender identity as fact, now you have these conflicting ideologies because people also don't want to do these things for religious reasons. Now they're conflicting and nothing's getting done because we set up these rules that are being abused, which is exactly what people warned them out about. When they were getting put in, people were like, oh, this stuff never happens. Nobody ever goes into the different bathroom. Nobody's weird. And then this is the stuff that happens. Now, do what you want on your own time. Like, I, in all honesty, have no problem with this person doing what they want. But when you go around doing this stuff, it, it, it's way over the line. Do you want to be forced to whack somebody? I don't call that a free country. Is someone allowed to like berate you and mock you and because they didn't break any laws you have to serve them? That's what it's about here. Are you able to deny service? Are you able to associate or disassociate with anyone you want? But that's not the end of the story. That can't be the end of the story on Infowars.com. Streaming live. <laughs> Jessica Yaniv is her name, and she's also responsible for getting Lindsay Shepard banned off Twitter. Now, if you don't know who Lindsay is, she's the girl who got fired from the university in Canada for daring to show a Jordan Peterson video. Daring to. Now, she claims she was banned because she made comments like this. Here's Lindsay Shepard in her own words. There are leaked Facebook message screenshots where JY is trying to get advice on how to approach preteen girls in the female washrooms. And he says things like, can you see tampon strings hanging out of a girl's pussy? What do girls do in the bathroom stall? Wipe pussy and change panty liner? Oh, I'm going on the BC ferries next week and lots of 10 year old girls go on field trips on the ferry. How can I ask them for a tampon or pad? Should I teach a 10-year-old girl how to use a tampon? Yes, JY is very obsessed with the menstrual products of 10 to 12-year-old girls. So, 
JY on Twitter starts tweeting about how I'm dumb and how I have a loose vagina from pushing out a 10 pound baby. But JY has a tight pussy. So I tweeted back and basically said, if you want to sound like a woman, this is not really the way to do it because this is more of a male way of speaking. Uh, I said, he sounds like a guy who doesn't have a functional romantic relationship with a woman, but I guess that describes him pretty well. Now before I show you the rest, keeping that all in mind, that this person does not have a vagina. This is like somebody saying that they're black when they're not, and insulting somebody for not being black enough. It makes no sense. And in addition to that, the person who didn't want to wax them said that they, if they did have a vagina, they would have waxed them, because they're trained for that. So a lot of stuff. This, this Jessica person's all over the news, and for all the wrong reasons, if you ask me. Now, that's not what got Lindsay banned, actually. Here is what Lindsay said that, she, <laughs> that got her banned. Take a look. Then, JY starts mocking how I have a reproductive abnormality called a septa uterus, and then I reply, and I say, at least I have a uterus, you ugly fat man. Uh, I deleted the tweets in the morning when I woke up, but was permanently suspended by the afternoon. Now, I don't know if an award is in line, a cash prize for Lindsay, not for being mean, not for being transphobic, the transphobics. No one should be mocked for having a health problem or just being who they want to be. If that's your thing, I don't care. But Lindsay deserves an award for bravery because how many people are this brave in 2019 and are willing to stand up to these people who are just serial activists, serial... This girl called somebody a Nazi for not wanting to, to wax her or him. I think Lindsay's pretty cool for this. It's mostly women who are doing this. Everybody's afraid to get fired. Should we be getting people fired or ruining their lives or this stuff? Lindsay's the brave person here. So I don't know how to get this video to her, but she's pretty cool. I don't know how to send it to her. Somebody maybe will. But let me know in the comments who's right in this situation. I'll try to answer. Uh, is Lindsay right? Is Lindsay wrong? Is Jessica right? Is Jessica wrong? Have we gone too far with the human rights tribunal thing? Should we be able to, like make these claims about anything. Somebody threw gum out their window, human rights violation, you're destroying the environment, you're limiting my freedom to be able to live in the street in a clean society. So let me know in the comments, should we be able to associate or disassociate with anyone in a business sense? Should we have the right to deny business based on any grounds? Because I don't think you can just do it uh, based on like racism or gender identity or anything, because then you have to establish intent which is very hard. So I think it's got to be a yes or no. Let me know in the comments. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. I'll try to answer the comments, by the way. And free Steve. Hashtag free Steve, everybody. Steve will do it. He's getting hit with demonetization on YouTube. He's having his videos taken down. They can just take them down. The video you uploaded, if they don't want you to. And now they've given him two community strikes, so he's got to hide all this video. Steve will do it, guys. Steve will do it.